Welcome back everyone. Today I want to talk to you about Hun Yuan video LoRa training. So I'm going to show you a couple of places that you can actually do the training and then I'm also going to show you a couple of models which you can just download and start using right now. Top right is playing a random of some of the outputs which I've generated overnight. If you don't want to miss my next video hit that subscribe button because YouTube ain't going to tell you. It's going to be coming from a full set of all these new models. We've got GTA 5 Mountain Racing. We've got Highway Racing Tokyo. That's one of the best ones. DJZ Cyber Society video where we trained an image model with images, not videos, uh, to see if it would learn our LoRa styles. And then we have another one, another experiment. This one trained on video. So this is a different video game. It's Car X Street, but it's been trained on a custom map. <laughs> And then finally, uh, the latest model which has dropped today, which is the DJZ Tokyo Meets. Now, I may have other models that are still in training, so watch out for those. But uh, let's just take a quick look at some of these. So I did write up a guide as well, which I'm going to keep adding to. So the guide the guide's going to be linked in the description of this video. It essentially gives you all the details that I might leave out when I'm doing my little explanation right now. The crucial thing is that a lot of these trainers, they actually have a visual language model that will do the captioning. So you only really need to set your pre-prompt and post-prompt and include the tags, just like you would an image, Laura, and let the Quen VL do the middle. And so that will give you very accurate prompts, but you can still have a kind of prompt pattern, which you can try typing whatever you want in there. So... There are two ways of training currently. We have the image-based model, and then we have the video-based model. So obviously, an image-based model is going to be very accurate at training the look of what you're training, but the motion movement might not be so good. So that's why you want to use a video segment-based trainer. Even though it is more expensive, more costly, takes longer, whatever, um, you are going to find that it's copying the smaller movements really well. Now up here, it's playing a random mix. No, it's not. It's playing my... These are all trained on video, I think. I think all of these are. There might be a couple of, like, video game style ones, not real-life footage style, um, and they might not be quite as good. But, like I said, I've been using a bunch of, like, this one here. This was a test case, and then this is my own artwork. So you've also got those randomly popping up in that folder. But most of it is this, which is the highway. And then when you see like a Toyota Chaser or uh, a more modern looking footage, that's going to be the drift meets. So anyway, with training with H100 in the cloud, you use Fal AI if you want to do the image based training and you use Replicate if you use the video based training. I want to do the training on Civ AI, but they haven't got Hunyuan at the time of writing. That might change. I don't know. I'm also going to add local GPU training to this article, so keep an eye out for that one. Read this article in full if you want more detail on the process. It's going to be, like I say, updated. So what I did here is I actually recorded myself doing FPV. Well, I had an FPV video of driving down a mountain in GTA 5, and it was able to learn the fact that it's a custom track and all that sort of business. A little bit ropey, but this is the second one I made. I did it first with images, and as you... Well, this is almost exactly what was, what was trained on. However, the motion absolutely sucks. So... This is, again, I was comparing the same data set with a video-based or an image-based, and it was much, much more uh, accurate with the image, but then the motion was much better with the video. Next up, I tried a different uh, video game edit, which I had, and this one is based in Car X on a custom map, and I think it did a really good job. There are some weird, there's some weird stuff happening, okay? But that's all right. Like I said, this is another evaluation model. Here, we just tried training images from, say, take our best artwork and just train, an air, train a video model on images alone. So that's what this is all about. And I actually think it did a really good job. In some ways, it was better than Cosmos. More faithful at keeping the style, perhaps, um, and certainly cleaner movement. 
Uh, also, we did a V1 is trained on images, which you can see looks super, super realistic, but it's very muted. The act, there's not much action because it wasn't able to learn the motions of the cinematography. Whereas with the V2, we got a lot more dynamic shot shots with like camera shake, camera movement, zooming in, zooming out. There's all kinds of stuff in here. I've put down a template because I think that I failed to get the actual captions. Let's have a look. Yeah. So what I've done is I've given you a template, which is what it should be. XJX style video of custom cars racing on Tokyo High with JDM style found footage. That, that's going to be accurate to the ground truth as far as I can tell. Um... But I think it was because the process on Replicate, you have to kind of catch it in the captioning process if you want to make a note of all the captions, and I didn't know that. I know that now. Um, Uh-oh. Something, something timed out because I asked for too much. I've been having fun with Replicate, getting it to generate, you know, big video. 1280 by 720. 40 steps. And 100 frames and after half an hour it crashed so don't feel too jealous of people using the cloud because sometimes it doesn't even work <laughs> all right um, also we've added new prompt lists so if you go to djz nodes and go into the prompts you'll find there's a whole bunch of new prompts that have been added which are all related to these new models which have just come out um, there is a another after the uh, after the highway model I decided to do a big train. So this one took about six hours. This one took 13. Um, you can run it in 1280-720. I only managed to get three seconds out of it. <laughs> and it did take about 25 minutes. But the result is very good. So I'm very happy with this model. It's probably the best drift Laura I've got. Definitely the best video drift Laura. Because, I mean, there isn't much drifting in it, I'll admit. But it's, you know... It's faithful to the uh, aesthetic, and I think that it's possible to generate some music video footage with this now. So this is super cool. Um, I put up a whole bunch of different uh, videos that were generated locally as well. So these aren't all generated in the cloud with uh, Replicate. A lot of these were just trained on, uh, were just generated on the local. But I think the main picture there was done with Replicate in the cloud. But as I said. You go over four seconds, look, I had it on, if I have it, if I put it back to 75, well, I can't, but that's, that's essentially what's going on there. I have also another Laura, which is currently in training, and this is going to be the longest one, I think, so this will be interesting to see. Now, remember I told you I used a chunker to chunk my video into segments? Well, the way I did that was using my video chunker workflow which is really simple you set the uh, index to zero and then what you do is you have it set to the number of frames you want each chunk to be for me that is 100 and then all you have to do is queue it up okay because it's set to force rate to 25 so all it's going to do is you put your project name in and then it's going to save all of those chunks and then you're going to have that video, whatever it is, split up into segments of 100 frames. And I think that works nicely when you use the uh, uniform. So the one thing I want to show you is I want to show you the trainer. Just because you might not have watched the live stream, you probably didn't see the settings. But it's actually quite straightforward, okay? So I'll just go to train. And as you can see right here... Uh, we put in a name, so we just use a name. It's got to be lowercase, okay? And then you can set it to private, and you log in with GitHub on Replicate. So it's creating a project on your GitHub. Then you're going to add your zip file with your uh, in, with your videos, the video clips that we made with the Comfy workflow. Uh, we're going to pick a trigger word. Always pick something like, you know, which isn't a word, isn't in the dictionary, Okay. We're going to leave auto caption on with Quen VL, and we're going to say, as it as suggested, look, start off with the suggestion, you know. So obviously, I've decided to change my token to KXK, so we could say a video of TOK comma space, 
and then here we'll say space in the style of KXK. And you might think, well, why are you doing it twice? And it's because for, for different types of prompts, you might want to put it at the end or at the beginning. It's not going to hurt to put it in both places. I don't think so. If anything, you're just you're just overtraining the token, maybe. Um, but like I said, I'm still getting experience training with the Hun Yuan Laura, so I'm just sharing what I do with mine. The more important stuff is further down. I I I would say just don't touch anything, okay. But the one thing that you should be playing around with and understanding is the frame extraction head, because this is the thing that's different for video models, which you wouldn't have seen before in an image model trainer. So there's lots of different patterns, and there's a README that explains what this is on the Masubi uh, README, okay? And also on the Hanyuan Laura trainer, they do explain it as well. But... You've effectively got head, chunk, slide, and uniform. I'm not going to go through all of these right now. But what I'm going to do is say I use uniform. So uh, uniform is going to extract 1, 25, and 45 lengths of consecutive frames from each of the clips. Okay? So it's, I think it might make training longer, but I think it makes it more accurate if you want to train motion. I also increase this to eight for the number of samples for uniform extraction. And you can put that all the way up to 20, so. Um, and as always, pick a memorable seed. And then you're ready to start the training, okay? Um, now, like I said, when this training starts, it's gonna give you like a log file you want to make sure, because something which is annoying with this, I don't know whether you, we have to like put in a, a bug report or something, but I can't find any uh, captions. It makes the captions to train it, but then it doesn't give them to you. But they are in a log file. Um, however, if the captions were really long, sometimes it just goes truncating logs until you get one which is why sometimes I've only got one caption on the model page, because they only gave me one caption. Um, so, to be honest, I can't wait to actually have been doing this locally, pure, you know, purely because I'm actually going to have the files. <laughs> um, but anyway, like I said, that's everything you need to know about how to create your own, uh, how to train your own Laura. Uh, when you download it from here, they'll give you two Lauras. One of them says... Comfy UI, the other one doesn't. So that's your two different LoRa formats. So if, like I tend to share the Comfy UI version and I tend to, you know, test it and then use those images for the, um, uh, use those images for the demo pics, demo clips. So if you go on my replicate, there'll be a link in the description. You can see um, the two models are public. I think you can even just copy my training settings and then use your own image set, change change it up. Because it's so automatic. I mean, you can caption your video clips like normal, but I don't think you really need to. If you can, like I just showed you, if you can just do auto-caption prefix and auto-caption suffix and then just let Quen VL take, it, take care of it, it's probably going to be more accurate and I don't know if they have, but it might be possible for them to even fine-tune the source a little bit so that it, you know, uh, optimizes what the infill is, you know, for the model we're training on. I don't know if they've done that, but I know it's something I've done with uh, One Vision. So, and that was lava, lava, I think. Yeah. So there it is. That's that. We've got the two profiles on here. Um, obviously, if you go over to the gallery, we've got a whole bunch of pictures up there. There's a couple more down here. What else? Um, do, 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 do. So that's pretty much it. We've got another model coming out, hopefully tomorrow, as long as it succeeds. So far, so good. Um, I'm really impressed with how well Hun Yuan learns. Um, and I hope it gets more efficient so that smaller computers can train on it locally. Um, and yeah, like I said, don't miss Highway Racing Tokyo and Tokyo Meets. Those are my two best Lauras at the moment. The rest of them are pretty much like experimentational, um, I would say. 
And just in case you're wondering, how the hell do I even run this? Well, all you got to do is use the uh, Hanyu, any Hanyuan text to video or video to video. I tried that out. It works nicely. Um, and I'm using Q8 Gaguf. And I'm just using a standard, bog standard LoRa loader. So there's no tricks required. It should just work with native comfy. Um, and like I said, I haven't done any post processing to any of these videos I've been showing you, you know, so some of them don't, some of them don't come out amazing. I mean, maybe he's got spinning, spinning rims, right? So that's all I had to show you today. Just to make you aware, uh, Hanyuan video Laura training is on the menu. Thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you next time.